Just a few quick tips how to post the, put the washer, the seals in each order on this, uh, it's a Belanger unit, but maybe other units are the same. So this one has a shower and the instructions are really, really poor. So first thing what you need to do, you have these two studs and you will find these two, let's call them screws and also this washer and uh, seal. You need to remove them, all these four, remove them from the studs, completely close them on the side. And then grab the plate, if you use the plate, you are not, it's not mandatory, you can just discard it or use, let's just say use the plate. First pass this seal and uh, ring, and you know, notice this ring has a notch and also has a edge, this edge goes on the top and the, uh, this uh, seal goes around it and you need to pass all the four hoses, there are four hoses, all the four hoses through this washer and seal. So pass it to the top like this and then pass the plate through all four hoses. All this I'm talking before you go to place it on the sink, just do this first on the floor and pass all the hoses like this and then you want to insert the hose for the shower first through the nose it has to come out here but you need first to insert it with the small end looks like this so there's two ends insert first the small end like that but to insert it and to make it appear here at the bottom you need to have these studs and these two parts so the handle the whatever name is for this and the studs make sure they stay aligned like this more or less so make sure all the three stay aligned only then you can get the hose to come out here and exit here otherwise it's getting stuck in there that's how you need to get it exit studs align horizontal this one vertical, this one vertical. So if, uh, pass the hose, pass it through the base as well and the hose will come out like this. And you want to connect this end to this end, which is kind of the shorter one. This is for the hot and cold water. And this is going to be for the shower. But you connect this only after you put it on the sink unit. For now, leave it disconnected. And also the other end, which is thicker, will have a seal. You need to find a seal. I think it's attached to the base someplace or, or to, the, to the hose itself. And just make sure you put the seal here before screwing in the shower itself at the top. You can leave this guy for the, uh, for the end of it. Uh, this is uh, how this uh, washer and rubber seal goes. So you have the notch. Notice this is the top. And this kind of with a hole is the bottom so the top it's the full one and that notch goes into this bump it's this is behind the faucet this is the front of the faucet faucet and you place the two notches this one with this one you just match them and they just match in there and prevents the plate from rotating now if you do not use the plate because you will see i have just one hole i do not have two uh, holes, three holes, just a single one. Mine it's 1.5 inches wide. I'm not going to use neither the plate, neither these two rings and seal. Nothing of this, I just discard them. And I'm going to put a silicone ring around the hole and then place the faucet directly on the silicone ring. Use any kind of silicone for a kitchen. Go to your sink insert the four hoses there's four of them into the hole of the sink and then you are going to come from underneath and place this washer and if you want to call them perhaps screws uh, you need to these studs will stay towards you towards the front you get first this washer it just goes through the two studs like this uh, this plate it's sitting on the countertop you have the countertop and then from underneath you put this seal 
it goes like this you notice how the opening it's towards the rear and then you put this washer it has kind of a round face and a flat face i suggest you put the flat face against this uh, the rubber washer and again you just slide it like this on the two studs the countertop it's squeezed in between so again this is towards the front and then you come from underneath as well and you just cruise this thing i suggest you put some grease here because it's going to corrode and get stuck and in the future you won't be able to remove these two uh, you call them screws it's not even a screw and you need to use a flat screwdriver here at the bottom to just tighten them against the countertop and at the end don't forget to attach the shower hose in there there's already a seal yes there is already a seal inside make sure you tighten this thing and perhaps you should call it a day at that point